नमस्कार वेलकम टू ऑल दी व्यूवर्स टू दिस इवनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ रिमेम्बरिंग संगीत नाटक अकेडमी फेलोशिप एंड पद्म विभूषण अवार्डी इब्राहिम अलकाजी जी एंड आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम श्री एन के रैना वेल नोन थिएटर पर्सनैलिटी डॉक्टर सुनील कोठारी श्री सुशांत सिंह एक्टर एंड ऑथर एंड ऑल्सो श्रीमती शोभा दीपक सिंह जी वेलकम टू दिस प्रोग्राम एंड आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट श्री एम के रैना टू ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स अबाउट रोल ऑफ श्री अलकाजी जी इन uh in is uh, you know bringing up the nsd and theater as such in india you see right. when i think of alka should i start yes uh-huh. hello yeah. yeah yeah when it okay when i think of mr kazi i he was a young man when he came to national school of drama as a director but before that he had a small theater unit in bombay where he was again training people there you see that time if you look at there were a lot of these young people with great minds uh, after freedom all these young people thought that they are going to create india of their dreams whether it was nuclear scientist homi baba whether, whether it was somnath and the agricultural scientist whether it was rukmani arendalemi or it was um, uh hussein all these people set up things to create something very new like a renaissance of india and what goes to their credit is that they were given important important positions to start first time in this country these institutions whether it is uh tata institute of fundamental research it is bark it is agriculture research institute or it is progressive uh, movement of art all of them were remarkably efficient in running them and making them national and international quality kind of uh institutions in case of alkazi sahab he had done theater when he was in bombay then he went to england came back and when he was doing a theater unit in it was on a rooftop in bombay then he, the people who Kamla ji, Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay, Dr. Nirmal Ranjanray, and others who were that time in the academy making of the national academies, and they made and they, Mama Varekar, who was a very eminent playwright of Marathi, was a very senior playwright. He said, "Look, there is a young man in Bombay who should get him to this school," and he accepted this. That time, school did not have funds. School did not have premises. They they were in Kailash in a small flat, a small little flat with a little lawn in front of them, and there Alkazi Sahab starts creating a history. When he came here, there was a little bit of a you know kind of a uh, doubt in the minds of many people that you know he he is not an Indian in sense. He is very Westernized person, and uh, we need an Indian person. And there is a small petty prejudices did come in it. but he proved them all wrong the very theater production first production it was ashar ka ek din in a lawn in that school lawn which was something very very unusual for theater people to watch and it became a big big event in delhi it rather very big event it became in delhi and after that he comes to ramendra bhavan why he is given in the ramendra bhavan she one wing one wing bit teachers room one backstage one room big room he creates into a studio theater designs it himself even the chairs that were designed were designed by him with his carpenters and there was one yoga room and there was a director's room that is all and this was till i think 1975 or 74 this the history that night mr alkazi created in creating this institution and setting the parameters of the modern indian theater at par with the international quality kind of work was done in that small theater which had 75 seats only it king lear was done there trojan women was done there uh, three sisters was done there miser was done there 
think of this great and the how he it did not have two wings soon literally one wing and one there was no fire it was just a improvised kind of a thing how he used to make the double story sets there he had an advantage of being a, also an architect he had done a dip, diploma in architecture that helped him very much then one week came in a drama school suddenly it by that time Purana Kila had happened. He had already done Anda Ayu Togolak on Talcatra uh, uh, monuments. And he was a big name, but at the same time, he was a big terror. He was a taskmaster. He will never, never leave anything you are not, you know, uh, you are not being washed. Believe me, there was a joke. Chacha, kaha hai? Corridor mein kaha hai? Sometimes he used to go for a tour for two days. We say, ah, now he's not going Monday. He will not be returning from Nagaland. How can he turn? Next morning, nine o'clock, he used to be there. And uh, so there was no escape. He was a teacher who had kept his eyes on each student to the extent he used to every month look at our library register, who is issuing what books. And suddenly he caught me, I, my personal experience, he caught me at one point and he said, uh, you are not visiting library these days. No, no, sir. I've got some. I, I, I told him some book I read. He said, sir, you have your own book? I said, yes, sir. I purchased a Penguin book. So, okay, write a note on uh, this aspect of the book. So, he, you had no escape. Then, when he was teaching also, as a teacher, I think rarely you find teachers of that quality now, at least in India. He was a teacher who was giving you professional elements of a professionalism, but at the same time, he was teaching you uh, what is called a professional theater man. Example, suddenly one day get a notice comes that all of you have to come and meet at the Ramadhan Bhavan lawns in the lawn. So we went, there were fordas and all kinds of elements, tokeries and belches and everything and you have to dig it up here to clean it so we became a manual labor for almost month or more than that after 2 30 till 6 o'clock or 6 30 he will himself pick up the bricks on his on his tokery each student was a labor girl was labor manual labor and because he had no money it was not only to give us training he wanted to create that open air theater which now is being loud as a megalu theater it was just one level he created in front of that banyan tree which is there and round that tree he had created certain huts which are still there as rooms now and first play makkai was uh, grown all over and the prince and godan was done first time there it was a huge set it was like a cinema set a huge set and there were wells it was a very naturalistic kind of production and uh, and again school the same theater when he did again new plays, he did Downtown's Death, we did um, uh, Threepenny Opera, we did Chalk Circle, international directors came. The point is that whenever he wanted to get anybody apart from him to come and teach us, should be of a very special quality. Example, when the Brecht fever came in India, Bertolt Brecht, something is Brecht, Bertolt Brecht, Bertolt Brecht, we started studying Bertolt Brecht. And it was a new thing in India at that time. And there was a seminar on Bertolt Brecht. So everybody was reading those John Wellett's books to t explain what is he. But nobody had any idea. He set up a contact and he got Carl Weber, who had worked four years as an assistant director of uh, Benevich, of work as an assistant director of Bertolt Brecht, and came to direct Chalk Circle for us. So it was completely a first-hand experience to understand Brecht. Next year came Benevich. Carl Weber came from West Germany. Benevitz came from East Germany. And both these, two, both these people had a different approach to Brecht. And so you could understand what really Brecht was. In case of Indian theatre, yes, there is a claim that he didn't know, know Indian theatre. He was not. But what he was doing was something very different. He had done already al -Kazi, had done already Andha Yuga, had done all these big, big uh, productions. What was beautiful about him was, when it was to understand Nautanki and do Nautanki, he got the great master of Nautanki, Giriraj, Giriraji, who was the, the Nautanki expert. And his octaves were uh, Mandar Saptakwa, where Avatar Saptaki. 
because she was a, such a fabulous singer. You, you could sing with her mic for thousands of people. Nine months he camped with us in NSD and he was teaching us now Tenki. Similarly, when it came to Yakshigan to be taught, it was Dr. Shivram Karan. Six months the gentleman was at school, created one Yakshigan play. Whether it was to understand, because that time National School of Drama was also an Asian theater institute. We had to study Asian drama, which meant Chinese drama and Japanese drama. And he bought uh, Sozo Sato for Kabuki, who was an expert in Kabuki and Ikiban and other things from Japan, and was again for four months with us and did that play. So he will not give you an experience which was half baked. Yes, he can do it, you can do it. No. This will be the person who is a big expert in it. And then he did himself a lot of with these, uh, uh, he did Mishikatikam and he took that Mishikatikam to entire one month village tour. So he did give us a training. As I'm talking first as a teacher, his training was remarkable. He will give the most sophisticated elite training of theatre, whether it was Shakespeare, whether it was, um, it was Chekhov, then down to earth Indian theatre and the heart maker maker. Then the folk theatre experiments when it came. In fact, when the folk theatre started in India using the modern, as a modern theatre in India, it was Shanta Gandhi who did Bhavai with us, uh, Jasma Orden, which became a path-breaking performance of using folk theatre in India. <clears throat> I think we have uh, lost connect with uh, Raina ji. So in the meanwhile, I would request uh, our another guest, uh, Padma Shri and Sangeet Natak Academy Ratna Awardee, Dr. Sunil Kothari ji to share his experience. Uh, sir, how did you meet uh, Ibrahim al ji? When was it? And uh, can you? Yeah. It was in Bombay. Uh, we were in Mumbai, Bombay mm -hmm. in 1952. al was uh, conducting a series of lectures on contemporary modern art. And uh, his lectures on Picasso were very beautifully organized at the Bulabai Memorial Institute, where he was also conducting classes for the theater. I remember that there were also Satyadev De Dubey and many other theatre people were working together. And Alkazi Saab was also staging plays on the sixth floor of a building where he was staying. It was an open air where we first time saw uh, Waiting for Godo. What was interesting was that Alkazi Saab was very much interested in painting earlier when he was in London. He had studied painting also with the theatre. And uh, his lectures were wonderful about the painting, as we also know that what he established later on art heritage and the uh, portrait revenue. So we were introduced first uh, to all the painters like Picasso in new period and uh, you know other other periods were very beautifully discussed. But when we met him, we found that he was both interested in theatre in a very big way. He had a great idea about establishing a national theatre and the institutionalization of theatre was the major step that he took. I do remember that when I was in Sangeet Natak Academy for some time, it was Kamradev Chattopadhyay who had suggested that uh, it should be very separate from the Asian theatre and a separate national school of drama should come up. And therefore, they, as Raina uh, uh, Sam explained to us about the small theatre in the Ravindra Bhavan, the next building theatre came. Yes, Raina uh, Sam, Batana Yeah, so I'll go quickly yeah. about it. Then, you know, that was one aspect of it. As an impeccable teacher, you couldn't get out of anything. I remember ah. one incident. I'll give you that he. I had to do. I had to do a costume project, and when I took the costume project before him, and it, he looked at it and threw it from the on third floor down. I got very furious. Why have you done it? Then I came back, and he said, "What is this project? This is a costume project." He. But what I had done, I had done the cover with a newspaper, and he said he started reading newspaper, and he said this is a design project. So I, then I got the idea of he wants the proper cover and then I did it. But what he was, you know, from the, from a minutest detail to the mega details, he was very, very particular about it. 
now at the personal level i had a very very combination of fights combination of like love respect admiration for each other whenever i did iago for example he used to keep watching this play of mine and tell students see what he is doing i don't know what i was doing but i was doing something which he liked and uh, he will definitely tell you this was wrong that was not it was not right sometimes treat you equally as an equal i remember when i went left drama school and i came to drama school after four years to direct a play for them and he saw the play he said i want to talk to you come in the morning i went in the morning and he said uh, i want to talk to you as an equal so the night we said no sir please wait he says no you have grown up now i have seen your work now we let, we let us talk like equal and he started talking about my production what was good 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 so can i now tell you what was bad i said what was bad <laughs> This was not this was. I actually, I, I that was true. I said that was also the problem of the script. He said, I understand, but you must know. Then he told me, oh, how did you learn these crowd scenes? There were nine crowd scenes, big crowd scenes. I said, I learned it them from you. He said, no, they are. Not. I don't direct crowd scenes like that. I said, well, I do something, but I am inspired by the way you take tackle crowd scenes. So he was open once he had accepted you. Then, at the he will keep a you know another personal thing as when my kashmir exploded and he came to know about my family I, we had lost everything and one day he came and put his uh, intervene put a suddenly from behind he came he put his uh, hand around my shoulder and he said how are you i said fine how is the family to be telling you today truth in delhi accepting my closest two three friends nobody asked me what happened to your family accepting this man when i told him what happened etc etc he said my family in iraq iran when iran iraq had attacked kuwait his family he didn't know where about his family so we were to share the tragedies of what is this and you lose a contact of the family and you face a war like situation so we talked about it so that was him then as a social being i think what is very important for two incidents for that he was not a, pe a pe person who was a institution he was somewhere uh, alone and uh, he, he, nothing to do with this community of artists and other things zora sagal had come from london and had set up folk ensemble a dance folk ensemble in delhi after two weeks to watch this lady a very dignified lady walking from ravindra bhavan to bahulpur i was coming and said, who is this lady we didn't know who she is somebody said she had been an actress etc we, we didn't know she had been for many years in london almost forgotten which she told me i did a film on her and then she said i was looking at recognition somebody will recognize my face so nobody recognized my face and then after two years of her tra preparing this young dancers there was some problem and academy was not supporting her to look after the accounts etc and situation reached when it had to be closed and somehow this buzz went around the theater people and dance people and every day five in the evening these 20 dancers are dancers zora sagal leading lights up theater dance were there in protesting in rabindra bhavan every day and he was leading it so he will join that kind of a person. when sabdar died for example and he was again in the rabindra bhavan attack happened every day coming and uh, addressing the people what should we do and when Sabda's national uh, memorial meeting came, he was with us with an inch tape in designing it. I, that time we were quite grown up and we said, sir, leave it to us and we know what to do. And he said, no, I don't think so. You are right now, your neck is on the chopper. If anything goes wrong in design, I will have to hold you responsible. So <laughs> he will join the national causes. He will join the protests. When my play, for example, got b b banned in during emergency, he was the only person who called me, asked me what, when I told him the whole story that it is the theater people of Punjab who have sent a script to cast words and four letter words to chief minister. This is a bad play because they didn't want this repertoire to succeed and they had their own problems. And uh, he wanted to go that time to Mrs. Gandhi with the photographs and other things. Too. Don't this is a play which has been very successful in the countryside and which was dangerous that time mind you emergency going to mrs gandhi with a complaint of a play 
which was not an ordinary thing he was attempting but that couldn't happen because things went so bad they are one thing after other we couldn't do that but you could go to him even if you had left drama school talk to him about problems about students secretly he will ask you about student one student to the other om puri for example was his very at one point because he was a very close kind of a kid you never talk he was my very good friend of mine and he called me one day he said come get what is wrong with om then i told you om has a problem sir he just wants to keep to himself aloof there's a reason because he was he was a child when his mother passed away then mama brought him up and uh, then he from that stage to this stage he still is not able to adjust it he would you believe he took a special care of that how to open up home he said no this helps me to know the backgrounds of his students so he will ask students mm. from each other backgrounds other things his contribution to indian theater is that he brought the professionalism in indian theater he brought uh quality theater theater was the, till then theater was in, you know like is an evening activity it was never a professional activity and here was the person who want to make it a professional theater and in terms of design in terms of acting in terms of interpretation in terms of scale of the productions if you didn't have money you could still do a great production in a small room like a studio theater or a small place but if you had little resources you can go and do a phenomenal mega production in purana kela and other other you know talkatora and other places and i remember when he left national school of drama he resigned there was a student problem and i came i intervened as an ex student in that meeting there was a huge confrontation where there was an element which had entered the lumpen element had entered uh, national school of drama as students they had been planted i know it and wow. they were asked to commit the mischief they created mischief the biggest mischief you could create with alkaz sir if you ever attacked his personal character if you attacked his honesty attacked his commitment and that's what had happened in that meeting we fought it but he came out and he let, took me out he sort of see me saw me off at the uh, drama school fire and he said do you know rena when you do good work muck will be thrown at you in this country these are his words i remember he said you let me tell you when i joined national club drama and the toilets were in the rabindra bhavan toilets full of full of pan peak and i put up a notice and told them the police keep to clean no safai karmachari bothered about it and after third day he got his whim he got his yeah. mop and he started cleaning three days himself then the message went round and the last thing he told me after this uh, banning and i was person non grata i could have been arrested etc he said remember one thing in this country if you want something lead it from the front you have to do it in this country don't only tell people to do it so lesson was very clear to me when he made i saw him doing himself every time he traveled with us in third class from madras to delhi it was cold we had didn't have and it was no kambal on us and we were all laughing having tea and he was having fun with us in the middle of night he said raina get up and find some tea somewhere some station it was cold <laughs> but he will Uh, he he did all those things for us to give i mean that is what his he became an example to us you know he became a kind of a person this is what you have to become in indian theater this is what you have to do when you have to do indian theater and i remember the difference between him as a director and the people who are now running drama school a simple that when he used to visit shastri bhavan secretary knew mr alkaz is entering and he's have a meeting with him there is to be you know ready something and now it is yes sir yes sir yes sir which he never did because four times he resigned they did something he said here is the resignation i'm going four times fifth time finally i remember i thought to my friends when that meeting with the students happened i said nahi yaar inka dil toot gaya now he's not going to come back he will not take it back and that's what exactly happened he left it but to understand you don't have many people like that to he you know he had a khatara standard gray color car which was worse than maruti 800 no salary how much was it getting 5000 or something but the dignity with which he made the school the dignity he gave to the school to the students was what 
that doesn't need money it needs the intellect and it needs the ideas that was him and then that's why it call him that here is a man who will teach us painting he will teach us music western appreciation music indian appreciation music for example i have seen bala saraswati don dancing in our studio he could bring her there and wow. it was a, you know how his jaws felt this she was not a good shape she was quite old but we watched her two hours she did demo demos for us and he will get all these great people one is to one with us so give you a dignity that you know uh, that um, uh, look this is what you have to become and un- one thing but he also had a tremendous eye on the indian student who is coming he understood very really well they come from the background so there has not been much of culture so that you know you will laugh at if i tell you when we be, we had an agitation we got the hostel and we saw next to the hostel it was a private hostel so we saw we saw the building as students and when it was done or everything was ready there we had to move in the first class he gave to every kid is about to have to use toilet would you believe it and each room was with reproduction of the master painters he had framed them himself for the students and after every year he will come and change them to give you an idea what is a renaissance man all about how he can relate to sciences how can he relate to the uh, various streams of art together that was the man that's why you could see him after he left the theater he goes to the greater uh, stream yeah. of painting photography documentation other things he had a purpose in his life ahead of himself that's what i have to say they about and i have been lucky to have a teacher like this oh thank you thank thank you ranaji hello ji, can you ha ah, thank you ranaji sunil ji can you uh, thank you so much aap bata rahe the he came very fond of our khadi sir because of his theater activity in bombay and he would also meet us in the exhibition of paintings so my friend gulam mohammad she uh had his exhibition one man show in bombay jangir art gallery and the uh, painter husain had come he inaugurated it painter husain also sang a poem after few days arkaz uh, sahab could himself personally came and bought one of his painting and invited gulam mohammad sheikh and us to his residence for dinner we understood that he had a great understanding of uh, painting and i believe uh, gulam other day told me that uh, because of uh, gulam mohammad sheikh had done history of painting he was invited at the national gallery of drama to spoke and painting and both of them gulam mohammad sheikh as well as alkazi sahab dono ne painting par bahut achhi baatein batayi thi he was interested in painting but he would make students to go to the next, uh, you know gesser gallery of modern art whenever exhibition is on he had to go compulsory whenever performance at kamani hall of dance is there of biddu maharaj or kathakali or even kuri artam you have to go and watch them I do remember that when Govardhan Panchal came, he respected Govardhan Panchal. He thought he had come from Shanti Niketan as a designer, also as a dancer, as a set designer, and he sent him to Kerala to study the Kuri Artam, and also made a small theater replica is still there in Ravindra Bhavan of the Kuri Artam. So his vision was very great, and he spoke very good Hindi. I remember once Kapila Vatsam he had come and. he was presiding over some lecture etc and she asked alkadi sir that he should speak only in hindi he spoke very well in hindi he knew also sanskrit very well his interest was far beyond theater i think theater is a composite art he would make us uh, understand that you must know textiles you must know the texture you must know understand the meaning mira diva joshi was there who spoke very beautifully on these textiles etc i do remember when alkadi sir once came and uh, i was giving a talk on Kathak dance, especially the Kumar Sharma was dancing. We are at the IIC, and uh, he himself says he liked it very much. He said he must continue this appreciation part of etc. When Chandra Lekha produced her work uh, Navagraha uh, with Kamdev at the Kamani Hall, he was the first one to come and wanted to watch what the new work she was doing. He was great admirer of Chandra Lekha, and uh, he came and encouraged her a lot and gave a good support. so i believe that when uh, kazi sahab uh, saw talent for instance when we were in sangeet natak academy jivan pani was doing a film on the uh, shadow puppet of uh, orissa so he requested uh, kazi sahab that you must do the commentary and without hesitation he did a wonderful commentary for the shadow puppet of uh, orissa which is lying in our sangeet natak academy i do believe that when i was very close to ratan thiam when i started working with him Going to Imphal, Manipur, and when I travel with him all over the world, 
uh, Al Qadi Sahib is very happy about it. Once we were in the Brooklyn Library Music in Bang in New York, and Kalkazi Sahib is very punctual. But unfortunately, because of the traffic jam, he couldn't come in time. And I was asked to wait outside to receive him. And he admired it. He said, no, no, we can't enter till the first scene is over. He'll go inside and take me when the scene is over. I took him inside uh, when the Uttar Priya Darshi was being staying. Meanwhile, I sent a note that Al Qadi Sahib said, I want to meet Ratan Thiam at the backstage also. So I sent a note to uh, Ratan Thiam that you be careful, your guru is going to come. If you are smoking, don't do. If you are drinking, don't do. So he got the message. Al Qadi Sahib, we went there. The moment he saw Al Qadi Sahib, he did Sashtan that the Pranam to Al Qadi Sahib, and Al Qadi Sahib embracing him. He was very fond of Ratan Thiam. I think Ratan Thiam ko unhone baut sahay bhi kiya tha. He came from Infal. He did not very good Hindi, but he learned the Purdu very well later on. And he also acted in some other plays. But he wanted to be a theatre director. And he went back to Infal and started his Kuros Repertory Theatre, of which uh, Alkazi Sahib very, very proud. I do remember that uh, Alkazi Sahib was uh, very fond of uh, Shobha Deepak Singhji. And Shobha Deepak was taking photographs. So Alkazi Sahib would guide her. How to take photographs, etc. And uh, Shobhani would tell more about it. Because of the generosity this gentleman had was unbelievable. I, as uh, uh, Raina Sahib said very beautifully, that he would treat them one to one. He will make them feel very confident about himself. Though he was very strict. It's not that you can take liberty with Al Qaeda Sahib. No. You have to be very proper about Al Qaeda Sahib, particularly in maintaining time. If you are late, out. You come again. If he says, okay. come at 9 o'clock, you better go before 9. 5 is before 9 o'clock, you should go. He would create an awe, but that awe was of affection, of love. And I have the most happiest memory at that uh, whenever I would talk about Indian classical dance, when I wrote my books on dance, he would read them. He would say that you have done a good job. And it is important that our country and all those who know about the traditions should write very well. Mulkaraj Anand brought out my books on Bharanatyam, Katha, Kuchipudin, all. He would keep them. And he would, if he likes them, he would tell about it, that people should read them, etc. Now, if this sort of respect was given by somebody so giant, a man like al you feel very, very proud, you feel very, very encouraged. I do believe that uh, his contribution to it is marvelous. When you go to, as al uh, have said about Bhagavad Theater, it is then named after him now, and about the Godan, that, uh, you know, play by Krenchan, is unbelievable what he did. I've seen their Begum uh, Katakya, I've seen a I've seen number of these plays also. Whenever we got a chance in Delhi, and the word is announced that the play is on, we will leave everything. We will go and watch the performances because we will never get a chance to see such production which are so professional. Can you believe that when he did Andhayu in Purana Kila? And later on, when we were organizing the dance festival at uh, uh, Khajurao, he came on a committee. Stein came also on the committee. And somebody was there very uh, nasty about uh, performing on the platform of the parapet of the temple. Al Ghazi Sahib with sarcasm told that you will like us to go and perform at the temp, uh, platform of Satna Temple, Satna uh, Railway Station. What are you saying? After that, that gentleman never spoke. He guided also one of his uh, director, one of the students, Ram Murthy, was there. Okay, how to do lighting for Khajura Festival. Now, the yes. vision was marvelous. You don't normally come across a man like this. And I think people understood it that he was an exceptional man who laid Indian theatre at an international level. What level he has created and what Indian dance, Indian theatre can be on par with any of the theatres in the world. And one thing very proud about him. I have always considered myself very, very fortunate that I came to know Al Qadi Sahib. Roshan, his wife, was learning Bharatanatyam from Balasar. Very few people will know that. So she went for three months to Chennai and studied Bharatanatyam. And his respect for Balasar is very well known. I do believe that uh, a man of his stature would understand the greatness of other artists also. Not only that, he will make us conscious about that you are lucky that you are in time of living when there is Ravi Shankar playing sitar and Bhimsen is singing, Balasa is performing or Bhimsu Maharaj Shabhubra is performing. You better not miss this opportunity. I am very, very grateful to uh, Al-Ghazi Saf for his affection and love. I am very, very grateful also that because of my friend Sankhya. He was very proud of Ratan Thiam. I remember Shobhaji took a beautiful photograph of Ratan Thiam and uh, Al Qadi Sahib when he was given the award, when Al Qadi Sahib uh, embraced Ratan Thiam. Both uh, people had tears in their eyes. Watching that, audience had so tears in their eyes. 
Now, this affection is very rare. We used to say, as they say in Sanskrit, Shishya Tichit Parajaya. It is not the defeat from a Shishya, but if the Shishya can do a great job, the joy about having seen our Shishya doing wonderful work, and that is what he was very proud of Ratanthem's work, whether it was Uttar Priyadarshi or another thing. I still remember also when I was in Bombay, I had seen, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of his productions by Hima Devi, Eda Gebler. And she was a filmster, she was a dancer, but the dancer was given the role of playing the uh, role in that play. Now, this uh, ability to spot talent was something very marvelous. How beautifully Rayanas have told about the cleaning of the toilets. It will become a folklore now. Anybody who knows about al Khazab knows that al Khazab have to, the, you know, groom and clean and made it very clear that any place for theatre has to be absolutely clean and neat. It has to be a temple. It should be a scene that it has been properly maintained. Who will give us this training? I am so sure it's a galaxy of the students of al Ghazi Sahib, Raina Sahib, Pratanti, Nasruddin Shah, Ratna Patur, and uh, our own Puri, Shri Prakat. Many people are there. They have become legend. And they have given that they raised the bar of theatre very high. I would like now Shobhaji to say about more. Shobhaji, you tell me. Hmm. One second, one second. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I have seen all Mr. Al Kazi's plays, Andha Yog and Raja Sutta, long before Mr. Al Kazi made founded living theatre. And I just thought it will never be in my lifetime that I will even meet him face to face. Then he came to Kamani. But when, in 1977, when Kamani was made, it was, he wanted to book Kamani for six months, from March to September. And we gave him an off-season discount. Then Kamani was 800 rupees a day. He rehearsed there, he performed there, and he went. And uh, then when I saw him, I think it was the NSD Silver Jubilee or something, uh, they did three plays in Kamani, Julius Caesar, House of Bernardo Alba, and Ratkarya. I was, saw him sitting in the sun and he called me, Tishwabaji, I want some more uh, shows in Kamani. Please give me the dates. I gave them to him because huge of my own. But when the advertisement for us came for Living Theatre, I applied immediately and I was delighted when I was accepted. And uh, I think he took me, not because I was going to be good or bad, I think he didn't know how he could say no. And because I was sitting right next to him, he wanted a rubber band on the first day, and that was provided to him. So he got hold of my bangles <laughs> and he rubber banded them. I had a tremendous sense of humor. Then when we were doing our first play, Virasat, which Sushant will remember, he had a professional photographer who was taking the photographs. I have another vision for taking my photographs. So I was taking my own photographs. And when the photographs came, I put them on his table the next morning. When he came, he put them, who is taking these photographs? So very cowardly, I said, sir, me. He said, from now on, you'll be the in-house photographer for Living Theatre. It was wonderful. And then after two and a half, three, after our four semesters, he came to my office one day. He said, Shobhaji, can I say, see, have the uh, contact sheets of your photos? So I said, sir. So I gave them to him. And very meticulously, he wrote on the contact sheets, which photo, what size, gave them to me within 24 hours. I gave them back to him within 20, 24 hours. And then he came with an invitation for asking people to come for a photograph e exhibition by my photographs. I was really very, very listening. And I remember Sushant, Morina and me uh, sat many hours in the cold to make a video of the all the four plays. And he wanted it in a closed circuit TV while the exhibition was on. And I have to say that People ask me, why did you do Mr. Alkazi's code? Let me just tell you, because I saw all his plays, I wanted to know how he directed. As a director in dance and music, I wanted to translate that into dance. And if I, and I think to some extent, I have been successful. And uh, I had, I mean, it's 25 years ago when I met, met Mr. Alkazi first. And now, until he passed away, I felt it was my biggest um, thing in my life that I studied from him. 
and he, I remember it's such a me. We were all in Bombay when he got the award for time and talent or something like that. And uh, Sushant was uh, operating the slides, and and Mr. Akaji came after a two minute break, dressed in the Arab clothes, and he said, "People always wanted to know how I was, and I wanted to show you how it how I am." And uh, he was to me, he's been just closer than my father, may I say, and. Uh, he could tell me frankly whatever he felt about right, wrong, and I would often go to uh, our heritage to discuss matters with him, which concerned me privately, or he concerned, discussed with me what he thought was important. And uh, I have kept every slip of paper like a crazy person on which he oh. even drew anything. I mean, to me, that that's the best documentation of Mr. Al Ghazi. Every photograph of all the place I have. And whenever they are needed, I shall be happy to give them for you. <coughs> That's all I have to say. Mm -hmm. Mr. Akaji, you do good. Can Thank we you. now request uh, uh, the youngest member of our panel, <laughs> well-known actor and author, Sushant Singhji? Kindly, can you share something? And especially, uh, everyone would like to know about the Taskmaster part of it. <laughs> yeah, please, one second. Yeah, Sushantji. मैं तो मैं तो अभी तक सबको सुन के और सीख रहा था because uh, अलकाजी साहब is is such such a personality कि जितने लोगों से बातें होती हैं और नई नई चीजें बालूम पड़ती हैं वो इतने इतने गहरे एक अगर कहूँ complete teacher art theatre नहीं when you talk about literature art poetry he he was a complete teacher he wanted to share and give to all the people he thought they were deserving. And he did so much work. The taskmaster was there. And if the taskmaster is not the taskmaster, then who will be? This man has given his whole life to art. And before he learned something, he learned himself. Uh, उन्होंने खुद ही किस्सा बताया था कि जब उनको NST की डायरेक्टरशिप ऑफर की गई थी उससे पहले वो ज्यादातर अंग्रेजी थिएटर ही किया करते थे रादर अंग्रेजी थिएटर ही किया था उन्होंने सो so ही उन्होंने 5 साल का वक्त मांगा डायरेक्टर बनने से पहले कि मैं पहले भारतीय थिएटर क्या है भारतीय रंगमंच क्या है वो समझना चाहूंगा उन्होंने पूरा नाट्य शास्त्र पढ़ा और उसके बाद जाकर के NSD की डायरेक्टरशिप जॉइन की वहां का सिलेबस डिजाइन किया और बाकी तो रहना साहब ने बताया है कैसे लिटरली फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच ही स्टार्टेड सो हम लोगों के यहां uh, शोभा जी तो खैर uh, वो किस्सा मुझे याद है रबर बैंड वाला आज तक बिकॉज़ शोभा जी की ज्वेलरी जो है वो काफी हुआ करती थी और कभी इनको किसी फंक्शन में जाना हुआ करता था क्लास के बाद या कुछ और होता था तो शोभा जी के स्टिलेटोस और शोभा जी की ज्वेलरी वो कहीं ना कहीं से आवाज आती थी और सर का एक लुक जाता था और फिर वो रबर बैंड एंड फोटोग्राफी वी हैव सीन शोभा जी ने हमारे सामने शुरू की फोटोग्राफी और कैसे अलकाजी साहब ने शुरू में तो देखिए सच बोलूं तो शोभा जी इसी पर खुश हो जाती थी कि उनके फोटोग्राफ फोकस में आ गए व्हेन शी स्टार्टेड के 10 खींचे थे 10 में से अगर दो फोकस में आ गए दैट वाज द अचीवमेंट बट अलकाजी साहब ने वो देखा जो हम में से किसी ने नहीं देखा and uh, result हमारे सामने है uh, जब इनके photographs की exhibition लगी अभी तो books भी हैं and the kind of photographer she's developed into so Alkazi साहब saw it when she was starting तब उन्होंने देख ली वो बात uh, Saturday हमारी rehearsals हुआ करती थी हर रोज शाम को और Saturday खास दिन होता था Saturday को सुबह हुआ करती थी rehearsal uh, 9 से कुछ 11 बजे तक और उस दिन uh, वो slide show prepare करके लाते थे uh, किसी भी एक ग्रेट पेंटर को चुनते थे उसकी पेंटिंग्स के स्लाइड्स बनाते थे वो सारे स्लाइड्स हमें दिखाते थे पेंटिंग का कलर टेक्सचर स्ट्रोक्स लाइटिंग कैरेक्टर्स की बॉडी लैंग्वेज uh, उसका कॉन्टेक्स्ट क्या है उस समय का सोशल uh, स्ट्रक्चर uh, क्या था और पेंटर ने उसको कैसे डिपिक्ट किया है और थिएटर में हम इन चीजों को कैसे यूज कर सकते यूज टू डू ऑल दैट एंड देन द होल सेट डिजाइनिंग हर चीज में बिकॉज़ एनएसडी में ऑब्वियसली अलग-अलग टीचर्स थे एक स्टेज पर जाकर के 
लाइटिंग डिपार्टमेंट अलग हो गया था डायरेक्शन डिपार्टमेंट में लोग थे कॉस्ट्यूम्स में लोग थे यहाँ पर अलकाजी साहब ने जब शुरू किया लिविंग थिएटर अकेडमी अलकाजी साहब वॉज दी ओनली टीचर कॉस्ट्यूम्स में ऑब्वियसली रोशन अलकाजी साथ में रहती थी तो अलकाजी साहब जो बाकी स्टूडेंट्स ने हम जो लास्ट बैच ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक अलकाजी एवर ट्रेन इन इज लाइफ वॉज द लिविंग थिएटर स्टूडेंट्स एंड अलकाजी साहब टॉट अस एवरी थिंग विद इज ओन हैंड्स बीट कॉस्ट्यूम्स बीट लाइटिंग बीट स्टेज क्राफ्ट राइटिंग प्लेस जब लेकर के हम बैठते थे उनकी जब रीडिंग होती थी तो कैसे उनको एडिट करना है अगर अनुवाद भी होकर के आया है या एडेप्टेशन होकर के आया है कहा कौन सी लाइन कौन सा शब्द एक्स्ट्रा है उसे ना बोलने से भी मीनिंग चेंज नहीं होता है सो दैट द ओल्ड अडाज ऑफ के सेट पर एक सुई भी एक्स्ट्रा नहीं होनी चाहिए ही यूज टू डू दैट राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग के प्ले में एक शब्द भी एक्स्ट्रा नहीं होना चाहिए वहां से हमारी ट्रेनिंग शुरू होती थी एंड देन आई सॉर्ट ऑफ बिकेम हिज राइट हैंड एज फार एज एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ सेट्स वॉज कंसर्न हिज सेट डिजाइन वी ऑल नो वन ऑफ वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट सेट डिजाइनर्स इन इंडियन थिएटर एंड ऑफकोर्स वेल नोन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड तो वहां बहुत कुछ सीखा पर्सनल हाइजीन ऑफकोर्स कि जब एक्टर्स आस पास आते हैं आमने सामने होते हैं स्टेज पर भाई अगर उसको आपके शरीर से दुर्गंध आ रही है और हम सब स्टूडेंट्स थे उस समय ऑब्वियसली हॉस्टल से आ रहा है कोई दिन भर बस का ट्रैवल करके आ रहा है सो द बेसिक्स ऑफ कि भाई बिफोर गोइंग ऑन द स्टेज टेक अ बाथ ब्रश योर टीथ योर को एक्टर और एक्ट्रेस शुड नॉट बी रिपेल्ड बाय योर प्रेजेंस माइन्यूटेस्ट ऑफ थिंग्स छुट्टियों में जाते थे वो छः महीने यहाँ रहते थे छः महीने हमारी रिहर्सल होती थी छः महीने सर uh, सर को बाहर जाना पड़ता था छुट्टियों में हमें टास्क दे करके जाते थे हमारे लिए उन्होंने लाइब्रेरी एक बनाई जिसमें प्लेस से लेकर के नॉवल्स पोइट्री हर तरह की किताबें थी और हमें सबको टास्क देकर जाते थे कि भाई आपका टास्क है मुझे टास्क उन्होंने दिया था पहली वेकेशन में कि पोस्ट मॉडर्न हिंदी पोइट्स को आप पढ़ेंगे लिस्ट दी थी और आप इसकी एंथोलॉजी तैयार कीजिए इसमें से आपको कौन कौन सी कविताएँ सबसे अच्छी लगी इस तरह अलग अलग सबको टास्क देते थे सो इट वॉज एन ऑलराउंड डेवलपमेंट एंड उनकी खुद की प्रेजेंस एक बार आ, कुछ ऐसी बात हुई थी तो वो लिविंग थिएटर जो एलटीजी में था वहाँ से निकल कर के अपनी आर्ट गैलरी जाते थे पैदल एंड वन डे ही सेड आई नो दैट यू गाइस लुक अप टू मी मैं जब यहाँ से चल कर के आर्ट गैलरी तक भी जाता हूँ आप लोग मुझे देख रहे होते हैं सो आई कंडक्ट माई सेल्फ इन सच अ वे वेयर आई सेट एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर यू बीट माई बॉडी लैंग्वेज इन पर्सनल लाइफ और माई कंडक्ट इन पर्सनल लाइफ so he he his commitment his dignity his honesty he knew that he is teaching us every waking moment of his life he was teaching us and jab unwind karna hota tha to un jaisa koi tha hi nahi jab set dismantle hote the to sara jo saman unke yahan se aaya hota tha to unke farm house hum le jaya karte the truck mein bhar kar ke wahan sab unloading karte the to uske baad sir aaram se chupke se paise de diya karte the कि अभी जाएंगे रास्ते में बियर की शॉप पड़ेगी तो आप लोग ले लीजिएगा एंड ऑफ कोर्स देन देर वॉज आफ्टर पार्टी प्लेस के बाद कभी उनके फार्म हाउस पर कभी सर के घर पे टेरेस पे वेर ही वुड यू नो ड्रिंक विद अस टीच अस हाउ टू ड्रिंक टेल अस द नुआंस ऑफ इवन ड्रिंकिंग ऑल्सो जब एक्टिंग सिखाते थे तो उनसे एक तो हम सब जितने लड़के थे बहुत जेलस होते थे भाई सीधी बात क्योंकि कुछ सत्तर एक साल के रहे होंगे जब उन्होंने शायद लिविंग थिएटर शुरू किया था और उस वक्त भी हम 20, 22, 23 साल के छोकरे और जितनी लड़कियां थी पूरे बैच में वो सब फिदा किस पर थी चचा पे okay. <laughs> मतलब हद होगी भाई उनको तो बस इसी में बात हो जाती थी कि अगर चचा जो है रिहर्सल करके दिखा रहे हैं क्योंकि तो हम लड़कों को नहीं मालूम था स्टेज पर फ्लट कैसे करना है रोमांस कैसे करना है बना दिया है वैर्शिन और वैर्शिन को माशा के साथ डांस करना नहीं आ रहा है तो सर जो है करके दिखाते थे और माशा जो कर रही होती थी उसकी तो भाव भंगी में देखने लायक होती थी कि आज अलकाजी साहब ने गले लगा लिया <laughs> तो और हम सब रश करते थे कि और वो थे भी इस लायक कि भाई एक एक आइडियल पुरुष होता है आइडियल टीचर होता है कभी आप उसको पिता के रूप में देखते हैं कभी उसको दोस्त के रूप में देखते हैं तो और सब हम सब यही चाहते थे शायद उनके सब, जितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं पूरी जिंदगी शायद कभी अनुपम खेर जी ने कहा था या कहा कहा था कि अलकाजी साहब के स्टूडेंट्स की प्रॉब्लम यह है कि जिंदगी में कुछ भी काम करते हैं 
तो उससे पहले ये सोचते हैं यार अलकाजी साहब क्या कहें उस चक्कर में बहुत से काम नहीं कर पाते नहीं कर पाते सो वो जिंदगी भर के लिए अलकाजी साहब हमारी जिंदगी का हिस्सा है आज वो शारीरिक रूप से हमारे बीच में नहीं है बट थ्रू आउट द लाइफ हमारी जितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं कोशिश ये रहती है कि कुछ भी करें अलकाजी साहब का नाम नीचा नहीं होना चाहिए हम कितने भी टैलेंटेड या अनटैलेंटेड हो वो बात अलग है लेकिन अपनी जो भी कोशिश हो वो ऐसी हो कल को कोई ये ना कह रहे यार ये अलकाजी का स्टूडेंट है इसने क्या किया दैट दैट्स हाउ वी लिव और मुझे मेरे साथ तो एक किस्सा है उनका मैं मैं भी पेंटिंग करता था साहब लिखता भी था और मुझे पता था कि इनकी आर्ट गैलरी भी है खुद पब्लिशिंग हाउस भी है और कलाकार है ही सो मैं उनके पीछे पड़ा रहता था कि सर प्लीज आप जरा मेरा वर्क देख लें और मैं पेंटिंग करता हूँ कुछ पोइट्री लिखता हूँ अगर उसमें कुछ टैलेंट है तो मैं आगे बढ़ूँ इसमें पूरे ओके ठीक है यू गेट गेट योर वर्क एंड दिस वॉज नाइन्टी फोर की बात होगी नाइन्टी टू में लिविंग थिएटर शुरू हुआ सेप्टेम्बर में एंड तो मैं अपना सारा सामान लेकर के बस्ते में रोज आता था रिहर्सल पे और मुझे वो टाइम नहीं देते थे एक दिन रिसेस हुई सब लोग नीचे भाटिया की दुकान पर चाय पीने गए तो मैं रुक गया सर ऐसे ही टेबल पर बैठे थे लिख रहे थे कुछ मैंने कहा सर मेरा काम पोइट्री और ये देखा नहीं उन्होंने मेरी तरफ ऐसे ही थे बोले तुम करना क्या चाहते हो लाइफ में सर एक्टिंग एक, करना चाहूंगा एक्टिंग मतलब हमारे लिए थिएटर ही था तब तक ये नहीं सोचा था कि एक्टर मतलब फिल्मों में या कहीं सो मैंने ऑनेस्टली कहा सर एक्टिंग करना चाहूंगा पर थिएटर से तो पेट नहीं भरता है सो उन्होंने फिर मेरी तरफ नहीं देखा और सिर्फ ये बोला कि आई डोंट थिंक यू कैन बिकम एन एक्टर आई डोंट सी द फायर इन यू एंड ये बात ऐसा तंज की तरह लगी मुझे चुप गई देखा अच्छा इनको लगता मैं एक्टर नहीं बन सकता <laughs> मैंने मनी मन उस दिन डिसाइड किया अब तो मैं एक्टर बन के दिखाऊंगा चाचा मैंने अपना उनको पोइट्री नहीं दिखाई पेंटिंग्स नहीं दिखाई तो मैं रूम से बाहर निकल गया चाय पीने के लिए एंड ऑफ कोर्स मच मच लेटर आई रियलाइज कि डे वन से वो मुझे लीड रोल्स दे रहे थे एज एन एक्टर ट्रेन कर रहे थे और ये कम आदमी जो है ये शायर और पेंटर बनना चाहता था सो so, उस उनको पता था किस स्टूडेंट को कैसे डील करना है हर किसी को डांटते नहीं थे हर किसी के साथ एक तरह सख्त नहीं होते थे किसको ईगो पर चोट करनी है किसी को फिजिकली थप्पड़ मार करके रुलाना है सीन के लिए ही न्यू हर एक का मिजाज पता होता था और उसी तरह डील करते थे सो so, मेरी वाइफ मोलिना वो भी उन्हीं की स्टूडेंट थी 93 में उसने ज्वाइन किया देन ऑफ कोर्स शी वाज इन कथक केंद्र आल्सो देन भारतीय कला केंद्र तो वहीं बीवी से भी मुलाकात हुई uh, इतना कुछ दिया उन्होंने और जैसे साहब बता रहे थे तो बीच में मेरी लाइफ में भी एक ट्रेजेडी हुई थी आ, मेरी बड़ी बहन चलबसी थी उसके बाद ऐसे ही रिहर्सल के बाद अलग से गेट पर जब मिले तो साइड में ले जाकर के कंधे पर हाथ रखा पूछा हालचाल सब कुछ और कहा भी कुछ भी हमारी जरूरत हो मदद की सो फ्रॉम योर पर्सनल लाइफ ऑल्सो ऐसा नहीं कि वो सिर्फ रिहर्सल हुई और खत्म हो गया आपकी जिंदगी का हर पहलू उनके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट था और वो ख्याल रखते थे आपका और इट्स लाइक like एक पिता जन्म से मिलते हैं दूसरा पिता जब एक अच्छा गुरु मिल जाता है तो वो आपको मिलता है तो वो जगह है हमारे लिए उनकी और थिएटर में उनका योगदान मैं तो क्या कहूँ छोटे मुंह बड़ी बात होगी लेकिन जितनी बातें सुनी हैं रैना साहब से कोठारी साहब से मनोहर सिंह जी थे मनोहर सिंह जी मतलब आप सोचिए मनोहर सिंह हमारे लिए आइडल थे जब हमने शुरू की थी थिएटर में एक्टिंग अलकाजी साहब के साथ लेकिन हमारे शोज में मनोहर सिंह जी टॉर्च लेकर अशरिंग किया करते थे इतना मान था गुरु के लिए और उसी तरह हमारे वो दोस्त बन गए अलकाजी साहब एक एक शायद अगर इतिहास में देखूं तो इंडियन थिएटर को एक सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी दिया अलकाजी साहब ने जिसमें आप सीख भी सकते थे जिससे प्रेरणा भी ले सकते थे जिससे कॉम्पीट भी कर सकते थे और ए, एक एक शायद एक एक नए मूवमेंट को ऑल ओवर द कंट्री उन्होंने दिशा दी और आज जितना हम थिएटर देखते हैं कहीं ना कहीं अगर सतह में जाकर के देखेंगे नीव में तो अलकाजी साहब का कंट्रीब्यूशन हर जगह दिखाई देगा कि अगर वो मूवमेंट उस वक्त उन्होंने और उनके साथियों ने जो कंटेम्प्रेरी आर्टिस्ट थे वो नहीं शुरू किया होता तो वो नींव हमें ना मिलती और आज हम यहाँ ना होते <coughs> और ऐसे तो मैं बोलता जाऊंगा सर बातें बहुत है खत्म नहीं होगी 
एक और बता देता हूँ किसका मैं आ, मैं उस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से बता रहा हूँ जो लोग अलकाजी साहब को उतना नहीं जानते थे मैं तो बिल्कुल नहीं जानता था मैं नैनीताल से पढ़ के आया था स्टेज स्कूल में किया करता था किरोडिमल कॉलेज में आया प्लेयर्स में था वहां करता था तो एक दिन एक जो गर्लफ्रेंड थी उन्होंने कहा चलो मंडी हाउस में नाटक देखने चलते चलो भाई तो हाउस ऑफ बर्नाडा अलवा का जो है दिन के अंधेरे उसका अडेप्टेशन उसका शो था मैंने देखा और मैं देख करके भौचक्का रह गया क्योंकि तो उससे पहले थिएटर अपना कॉलेज लेवल पर देखा भाई टूटा फूटा अपना स्टेज और चार लाइटें जो लगा करके होते हैं और हम थिएटर वाले फिलोसफर टाइप कुर्ता और फटी जीन्स और झोला यहाँ देखा तो एक अलग ही लेवल थिएटर का और जब कर्टन कॉल हुई तो डायरेक्टर साहब को देखा तो कोट पैंट और एक पीक कैप लगाई हुई और बड़े डिग्निफाइड अंदाज में आकर के कर्टन कॉल हुई तो मैं हैरान रह गया कि ये थिएटर का कौन सा लेवल है फिर मैंने पूछना शुरू किया पता करना शुरू किया भाई ये कौन आदमी है तब पता चला कि अलकाजी साहब कौन है और ये खुशकिस्मती है कि उसके कुछ ही समय बाद फिर लिविंग थिएटर अकेडमी का एड निकला पेपर में और अलकाजी साहब ने पता नहीं क्या देखा हमने तो चुन लिया और कुछ बन गए जी बस मैं अभी इतना इतना ही बोलूंगा <laughs> अच्छा आई वुड लाइक टू शो टू स्मॉल वीडियो क्लिपिंग ऑफ वॉट अलकाजी जी talk about his uh, work and also one another clipping about him and then we'll take the discussion forward okay what i strive for in my work is to strive for the kind of excellence to do a layer which is better than anything that peter brook has done if i want to do a a uh, 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 a julius caesar i want to do something better than anything that has appeared in the field stop move Looking only at him. Then, then now speak. Mahabali Caesar. People talk of my grandiose ideas. My ideas are not grandiose. It's the theatre which is an enormous, grandiose establishment. Where do you think the Greek theatre? Where did it perform? It performed on a hillside. How large was their orchestra? what did they perform against they performed against hills they performed against the sea as a background they performed against the firmament of the sky and you had diminutive man there with all these elements focused on him and you had a vast audience of 20000 spectators i wanted to ask you give us before a performance you should have a voice over the microphone saying such and such a thing in a very bombastic voice present you know Certain certain organization presents this magnificent new play, ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum, starring, and then you have the names that are reeled out to you, costumes by, tips by, and all that bloated up with music, etc. <laughs> I think it's vulgar. I think it's crude and cheap. Orang Rangman really is a very special place. It keeps you busy, but also professionally. इसलिए कि ना सिर्फ इसलिए कि जो बहिश्ती खुशी का एहसास हुआ था यहाँ अपना काम सीख कर उसकी नुमाइश करके उसकी यादों की ऊर्जा के कोने कोने में बसी हुई है बल्कि इसलिए भी कि यहाँ मैंने पहली दफा एन एस डी का कोई पेशकश देखा और उसे देखने के बाद मैंने फैसला किया कि मैं दुनिया में कहीं और जाने वाला नहीं हूँ एन एस डी के अलावा मैं उस वक्त अलीगढ़ में पढ़ रहा था आखिरी साल में बी ए कर रहा था दूसरी वजह यह कि यहां बिल्कुल यहां यहां पर एक रास्ता हुआ करता था कुछ आर्चर्स थे अवकाश साहब से मेरी पहली मुलाकात हुई मैंने उन्हें बताया कि मैं ड्रामा स्कूल आना चाहता हूं और उन्होंने मुझे हौसला दिया कि यहां आके ज्यादा परेशानी नहीं होगी मेरी वजह से उन्हें जितनी परेशानी हुई उसका उन्हें अंदाजा नहीं था अलकाजीज और तीसरी और सबसे अहम वजह इस जगह से जुड़ाव के लिए कि मेरे वालिद जो न कभी स्कूल में न कभी कॉलेज में मेरा कोई भी ड्रामा देखने आए जिंदगी में एक दफा मेरा ड्रामा यहां देखने आए थे रजिया सुल्तान अलकाजी साहब वैसे भी हमारे लिए एक सरोगेट वालिद हुआ करते थे हम उन्हें चचा कहते थे जिसका इल्म उन्हें भी था तो चचा और बाबा की मुलाकात यहां हुई 
اس ملاقات سے جو الیکٹریسٹی پیدا ہوئی اس سے میں چکا چوند ہو گیا اکثر ہم سے پوچھا جاتا ہے ایم ایس ڈی کے لوگوں سے کہ آپ القاضی صاحب کے بارے میں آپ کیا محسوس کرتے ہیں اور کیونکہ میڈیا کے بہت سارے بھائی بہن آج موجود ہیں وہ ہمیشہ جاننا چاہتے ہیں کہ آپ کو کیسا لگا تو میں بتا ہی دیتا ہوں کہ کیسا لگا ہم القاضی صاحب ربندر بھون میں ڈراما اسکول تھا ان دنوں ایک ہی کوریڈور میں جہاں پہلا دروازہ تھا القاضی صاحب کا جس میں ایک چھوٹی سی کھڑکی تھی جتنے اسٹوڈنٹ جتنی بار اس دروازے سے گزرتے تھے اس کھڑکی میں سے جھانک کے ضرور دیکھتے تھے کہ چچا کر کیا رہا ہے یہاں تک کہ جب چچا نہیں ہوتے تھے تب بھی میں نے اپنے آپ کو جھانکتے ہوئے پایا اس کھڑکی میں وی وہ کمپلیٹلی اوبسیسڈ ہوئے تھے اور ہمارا ہماری کیا فیلنگ تھی اس کے بارے میں یہ بھی کوئی راز نہیں ہے ہمیں سخت چڑ ہوتی تھی ان سے چڑ اس لیے ہوتی تھی کہ وہ صبح صبح ہاسٹل میں آ کے ہمیں کھدیڑتے تھے بستر سے کلاس میں جانے کے لیے چڑ اس لیے ہوتی تھی کہ وہ ایک امپاسبل استر کے اسٹینڈرڈس ان کے تھے چڑ اس لیے ہوتی تھی کہ یہ ہوتی تھی کہ وہ خود ایک مثال تھے جہاں تک پہنچنا ہمیں ناممکن لگتا تھا اور سخت چڑ اس لیے ہوتی تھی کہ ہمیں اپنے پوٹینشیل تک پہنچنے کے لیے وہ اکساتے رہتے تھے ہماری مدد کرتے رہتے تھے کبھی لات مار کے کبھی اچکار کے کبھی محبت سے کبھی سختی کے ساتھ ہندوستانی تھیٹر کے لیے ان کا جو کنٹریبیوشن ہے سو تو ہے میں اس کے بارے میں آگے کوئی بات نہیں کرنا چاہتا مجھے بے حد فخر ہے کہ اس تھیٹر کو جس کے بارے میں اللہ تعالیٰ صاحب نے ساتھ دے کے اس کو انہوں نے خود ڈیزائن کیا خود اپنے ہاتھوں سے بنایا اس پر ان کا نام ہمیشہ کے لیے رہے گا اور مجھے بے حد فخر ہے اس بات کا کہ مجھے بلایا گیا ہے اس یہاں پر پہلا پرفارمنس کرنے کے لیے میں تھیٹر فرام ویئر الکازی لیفٹ ان سیونٹی سیون اٹس آلموسٹ بیک Yeah. And he's still remembered. Memories are fresh with all of us. We remember every moment what we used to do with him or he used to do with us. <laughs> that is remarkable about the man, that he leaves such an impression even after almost a half a century on you. And yeah. he had left theater. I mean, believe me, in the United States or UK, you, you have 44 years old theater, but you are not nowhere in the reference even. I know it. I went to Stanford only there. I asked certain uh, writers whom I had met And they said, who? Where? Jerome Lawrence? I said, in the wind, he had written. Oh, really? No idea. And here he creates an impression which is with us. And the impression with the students who are not just, you mentioned, we mentioned four or five of them. And you always often quote Nasir because he's a film actor. But there are his students are all over the country working and doing remarkable work in theatre. far away from what Al-Qaizi, where he left them, with all of us. We were adventured into places, but that could only happen because he was an inspiration that we can do it. That's what was, he used to give you that confidence, build in your spine a certain kind of a DNA that now you have to all this board to yourself. Because Indian theatre is a very difficult and often board. There's not much in it. That's why people have to do cinema, they have to do television and still go back to do theatre. Nasir had no reason to come back to theatre, but he does theatre now again, every year, I think. And uh, that is what he made us to believe you may achieve anything. Theatre is the laboratory where you will experiment, you can afford to experiment, you can try out and that is the place where you can sharpen your tools and you can you know, flower your ideas and try your ideas that then you distribute them. I think it is a remarkable tribute to a teacher. After 45 years, as, as if, I, you know, when I grew my beard in the school, I used to shave one day, I grew my beard in the school. He saw me in the corridor, he said, what the hell are you doing? You look so dirty. You know, he goes, <laughs> I was saying, 
<laughs> then I said, no, sir, I used to get these pimples. They used to bleed with it. I kept it. Then I kept the beard. You know, tolerated this beard. I did a couple of rolls. I did yoga with that beard. One day I got sick of it. I cleaned it up. Oh. Next day, Sami, go away. I can't recognize you. Get out. So there was this, <laughs> you know, we admire this Guru Shishu Parampara. I don't know what it is. Here was a professional relationship of a student with a teacher based on the modern principles, contemporary principles, and of that, that your teacher will teach you, but you have to take where he has left, you have to take it from there forward. And that will be the biggest tribute that all the students are paying him and will pay. That Indian theatre, where it has reached today internationally, is his contribution. At his time, there was no, there was no money. There was no ICCR giving him money. Please take the place. He was never. He was always, you know, as it is in Indian government, you are, you are in problems all the time. They don't look respect you that much. But he left us with us this task, and I think the students are doing it remarkably well, very remarkably well. Whether it is in Kerala, deep north, east, you go to Gujarat, you go to Tamil Nadu, you meet always the students. Some which batch you have to ask? I was this batch. You may not know him. But immediately, sort of, set a report. For example, there was student Akshara, who has created a remarkable shoot in Hegadu, in a rural area, completely a modern Kannada theatre school. Oh. He has his own pedagogies, his own new grammar he's using. But the promise and the discipline has come all from the Ambaitu Gordon National School of Drama. And in that was Mr. Alkazi who was the person sowing the seeds across the landscape of India. The one thing what I regret is that after he left Asian Theatre Institute, dimension was left. Because we do not look at ourselves today as, uh, if you ask me, I don't call myself Indian, I call myself I'm a South Asian. Because I worked, I worked in all South Asian countries. I have a relationship with every, every, all theatre people in the South Asia, West, yes, but less, but more in South Asia. And we need to strengthen that because our cultural moorings are there. That will be the biggest contribution that we can, as an Indian uh, theatre people, give it to South Asia. Thank you. <coughs> Sunil ji. And what do you know? I was very good to listen to this story. Raina ji, Sushar ji, और भी कई कलाकारों ने अपने दोनों पुतिंग बड़े अच्छे निकाले थे उनको देख के बड़ा आनंद हुआ तो बोल रहे थे अलकाजी साहब और नसरुद्दीन शाह ने भी जो बताया इट वाज अ ग्रेट मोमेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस आई डिड नो अमाल इज डॉक्टर आई नो आल्सो हिज सन आई आल्सो नो फनी लॉ निजार एंड आल्सो दे आर बीइंग वर्क एट द ग्रैंड सन बी ग्रहाद वाज अ फुल फोटोग्राफी एस्टेट का देयर आर एरियाज इन व्हिच अलकाजी साहब इज लाइक अ वंडरफुल फुटप्रिंट His impress is very much on a various aspects of various visa uh, of dance, art, music, painting, etc. So, yeah, I mean, अच्छा लगता है कैसे आदमी इतने बड़े उसकी हमारे साथ थी और हमारा तो बहुत ज़रा कि हम उनके पास रहे उन्होंने अपने ये दिखाया जैसे उन्होंने अपनी पर्सनल बातें बताएं कि वो अपनी पर्सनल बातों में भी इंटरेस्ट लेते थे तो बहुत सहाय मिलता है ना अगर कोई गुरु अपने शिष्य को समझे के हाथ रख के बताए कि बेटा क्या है पति ने मुझे बताना इससे बड़ी मानवता क्या हो सकती है तो बड़े कलाकार तो थे बड़े गुरु भी थे तो बड़े ह्यूमन बींग भी थे तो हमारे अंतर से उनकी प्रणता है हमारे अंतर से प्रणाम है अच्छा इधर आयोजन हुआ तो बहुत अच्छा आपको भी बताई है क्या क्या आयोजन किया शोभा जी आई सुशांत सिंह जी आए रायना सब बहुत अच्छी बात की है बहुत आनंद है नमस्कार शोभा जी Yeah, I want to just say that when the last day of living theatre happened for me, it was just the uh, most saddest time because although it was over, but we learned so much. I'm sure Sushant and Bhavya, Bhavya, to have it close, it was very sad. I, I thought that after NSD, this is going to be forever. But anyway, we're very happy to celebrate his 90th birthday, and is looking forward also for, for the 95th. But wherever he is. Yeah, yeah. Sushant ji, I want you to say something. Yeah. But nothing is not. I just want to say thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. And no one else. Because whatever is, 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 whatever is,
सब उन्हीं की वजह से है और उम्मीद करते हैं कि उनकी धरोहर को आगे बढ़ा के ले जाएंगे thank the indian council for cultural relations hyderabad the regional director shri vail rao for having collaborated with us and thank by you. name i would like to thank each uh, of the speakers who have come here uh, shri sunil kothari ji shri sushant singh ji shri mk raina ji and shrimati shobha deepak singh ji for having joined us in remembering ibrahim alkazi thank you very much thank you thank you thank you, thank you.